All right, everybody, stay with me. We got a Captain Falcon pick already. Oh my goodness, you know, I'm just, I'm just so happy today, you know? I've already seen two Falcons on the stream, and it's the first two matches. Let's do it. Gonna be going to Pokemon Stadium 2 for the first match. That's kind of like the, the, the average standard pick. Not that, not that much more coming out of it. Captain Falcon doing his very best to run in and out, but these projectiles and heavy hitting and heavy hitting attacks so of DD oh not DD, of K is gonna make it look bit of a problem. We gotta miss all, but a great spot dodge to keep advantage on his side. That super arm on the on the crown throw coming in, but not playing much effect, giving him much effect. F tilt putting him off stage. This is kind of a bad situation for Falcon. His uh, his recovery is incredibly gimpable, linear, and predictable. You don't really have to do all that much. But C D doesn't let that stop him. He's still running strong, running on high octane, full tank of gas right now. He's playing with his mind in his head. And incidentally gets the hit by the uh, neutral B of DDD there, getting the little suck and puff with the blunderbuss right over there. A back air almost coming in to seal the deal, but he says, I got feet instead of hands, let me show you to the shadow realm. And the first stock is going to be going to CD. This is still anyone's match, They're, no one really has an advantage. K rule being a heavy is incredibly comboable. Is incredibly comparable by Falcon, but on the same on the same token, him being that heavy makes it a little bit harder to kill him, especially at higher percents. Makes him hit harder too. And that's just the rule of heavy. But being the combo fiend that Falcon is, CD's running hit running this man ragged, absolutely ragged. Another back air being clipped out by CD. Both players back on the stage, dodges that down smash and punishes with the uh, sour spot of a downer pushing off stage. Both that, both hits would have been acceptable. Falcon, Falcon kick across the stage, gets sucked up, puffed out, and now he's at disadvantage having to recover and see what kind of games and traps our boy Cole is going to, our boy Captain D is going to put up for him. Let me, let me turn that around. Now we got that first stock going we got the first stock coming off of Cole one Captain Diddy Captain Diddy having a little bit of work to make up for it. he was sick to a few classes now he's behind in his schoolwork let's see if he can take some extra credit sit in the study lab a little bit and catch up catch up to the rest of the class but that fist a hard learn and just put him at a stronger deficit almost clipping through the stage and catching the spike Captain K rule actually pretty difficult to spike from the top because that rotor has such a great hitbox, I mean, such an upward protection. And him being so heavy, like, you want to kill him in the bottom blast zone. You're not trying to kill him everywhere else. So, you're going to have to work very hard. But as I say that, getting killed off a 189 to an up air. Cole's still holding on to his second stock, 50%. He still has a stock and a half left and a lot of time, energy, and blood to work with. Ooh. Beautiful knee coming off, pushing him off stage, holding the crown, not letting him get it, makes it a little bit harder for him. Takes away a full option off of K Rule, getting the super armor from his golden belly. Our man has a heart of gold around here. Another back air being snuffed out. Back air is just not something that seems to be putting in all that work for K Rule, but nonetheless, when it catches, it's gonna catch, it's gonna do some damage. Another back air missing. Neutral air taking the first game. That's what I like to hear. I'm not I'm not biased or anything. I'm not a Falcon main or anything, but I'm a Falcon main. So like Falcons are pretty nice. Falcons are pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Another Captain Falcon. We have the second match coming up. We have a character switch from DD. D D Why do I keep saying that? K rule to Lucina. Let's see how much better this fares. is. Lucina objectively being a better character. Part of the Fire Clan Fire Emblem that's been seeing a lot of hatred since this game came out. A lot of people saying they don't want swords in my fighting games. But you know what? Swords are going to be part of almost every fighting game you play. Y'all going to have to just deal with it. Anyway. 
what I'm trying to say is this match is going to be volatile. Combo we've seen is going to be a little bit harder. She's a lot lighter, a lot floatier than K. Rule. As you can see, she's a human female and not a diabolical crocodile. All right, turn the dial. Let's get it moving. We're over at 108%. Captain Falcon stuck on, stuck on the uh, ledge. Actually turns around and gets turned around again. Up B, get, uh, Falcon Knife getting him saved. What a ballsy move blocking the shield popper. That, that was the shield breaker. That was, that was, that was ballsy. But catches the dolphin, uh, oh, dolphin slash on the way up. Spike and getting the first stock once again. Lucina, in my opinion, is someone that's a little bit a little bit better of a character than Marth because the damage is so spread out along the blade. But at the same time, it's something, ooh, a wonderful counter. Something that if someone's willing to put in the time to learn Marth, if someone's learning, willing to put in the time to learn Marth and learn their spacing and learn situations, the tipper actually makes a distinct difference. It's not that just like it only does like two times damage, but it can take stocks at like 70. It can turn whole tides of battles. It's just in this game, you don't want to really be dealing with like air quotes luck. And I know it's not luck, but it's so situational that sometimes it might make it a little bit harder to steal kills, you know i.e. Marthritis and whatnot. And Lucene doesn't have them. It's the same thing with Krom and Roy. Roy is very strong, but Krom just has that reliability factor. Even stocks on the board, even, even for sense on the board right now, no one really able to get a decisive hit in edgewise. Tries to go off stage with Nair to edge guard, makes it back to stage, both players safe. Gets the down smash to put, put him off stage, text the Falcon dive, both players back on stage, fighting for stage control. This is going to be a really hectic match. Both players seem to be evenly matching themselves, no one really taking the lead over the other. Gets the uh, sour, uh, sour spot down, down air and gets the second stop. Again, this is still anyone's match. No one really shows to have any real decisive killing ability right now. Not decisive killing ability, like decisive killing action right now. Both players really trying their best. I mean, that's what you want to be doing today. Uh, what's it called? Fair coming up off the ledge, keep himself safe, gets a moved away, and a back air to send Captain Diddy across the map. Oh my god. Captain Diddy having a little bit of a problem coming back to the stage. I looked away for a half second and I saw that the stock was gone. I'm sorry that I couldn't catch that for you guys. But nonetheless, let's continue this match. If I get off topic, I'm going to say I'm sorry. We got the Nair train coming. We got the pain train coming. My boy, it's not raining. It's hailing. And it's hailing knees. That's what it's hailing. Me and that hail knee man. So we're we'll going to have to try it again later. But cool on a strong tirade, just playing out of his mind right now, covering options and keeping Captain Diddy reeling. Captain Diddy's been playing, while it's not been indecisive for anyone, Captain Diddy's one has been slightly behind this entire time. And seems to just have options be called out by Cole just to be blocked. That F smash seems to be might be the what we needed to get a little bit of this get a little bit ahead in this game too. But nonetheless, we almost had a two-frame dolphin slash up to the ledge, and thank goodness we did it, because this game is still going. Punch that beautiful lady across the face, and I'll tell you, you might win some gold, some fame, some fortune, and a lawsuit because of it. Side be coming out strong, pushing him off the stage. Falcon Kick not really doing much, but getting him some positioning. Captain Diddy wasn't ready for it. Not really much he could do to punish it. Instead, end up giving himself some space. Swinging back and forth. Thundercat's not going to do it. Dash Attack's not going to do it either. This is a strong match. Amazing tech on the Dolphin Slash. This is getting hectic. Oh, and the back air comes out instead. Oh, my goodness. What a powerful match. What a powerful round two over here on February 15th, 2020 at Flame Games at Liberty in Lynchburg, Virginia. I don't know what else to say. If you didn't brush your, if you didn't brush your teeth today, make sure you brush your teeth. Good dental hygiene is important.